this is probably one of the most friendly places I've ever been. It's almost a well-kept secret, me and Fiddle Camp. I have never been in any camp, in any little community like this, that's so magical. It's really just, awesome. Just lots of fun and lots of music and, you know, lots of people to meet and people to see. I've been going for four years now, and this is my third year. I came to Maine Fiddle Camp for the first time about five years ago, and I've never looked back. You know, I've just felt, oh my goodness, I'm home. <laughs> this is a truly remarkable community, a, a, a kind of an experimental community that totally works. And it's one that has been going for, I think it's 18 years. And each year we've tuned it a little bit, um, a little bit sweeter. What makes, what makes this camp really unique is it's multi-generational and in every program we have at least three generations and often of the same family. Um, I've been playing since March. And I've been playing for about two weeks. <laughs> well, about two weeks ago, my 65th birthday, my wife presented me with a brand new film. <laughs> and then I had to find somewhere to go learn to play the thing and so I'm here and oh I can play a lot of stuff now there's also classes all the time in guitar bass banjo accordion mandolin um, in June I teach mountain dulcimer Sharon does penny whistle and flute um, so all the and there's piano all the instruments that would support the fiddling tradition, as broad as that might be. When Susie Burke is here, we have singing every afternoon. Um, so it's really the whole family of that music. When people register for fiddle camp, they give us an indication of what instrument they're going to be playing in camp, or that they want instruction on, and what level they consider themselves to be. And I think it's level one, one through six now. And one is, I've never played this instrument before, and six is, I'm ready for anything. Throw it at me and I can play it. And we come together in a way that's just completely inclusive. And that's one of the real strengths of the community, I think, is that it's, it's so, everybody is welcome and there's a place for everybody. And it's not about um, who's a star or training stars. It's about bringing people together for the joy of making music together and learning, the joy of learning about music. Well, you wake up to music, then you go eat and listen to music, and then you go play music, and then you have a break and hear more music, then you play music again, then you eat while you listen to music. <laughs> so the way the day goes, is that you have a primary instructor who you meet with first thing in the morning. Second period, you get a surprise instructor. Your second class, which has a, a different, different teacher, teacher from a different one of the nests, you don't know who that is. And so it's a, like a mystery anybody. teacher. And uh, um, then you have a like break for lunch and the camper concert and That's stuff. A, That's a while. Which is a pretty long time. Hour? After lunch, there's a camper concert where campers and classes get to have a chance to perform, and usually one or two special surprise guests, often from our main community and occasionally from places like Cape Breton or Quebec, if they happen to be touring in the state at the time. I met one of my heroes here, and that's Mike Doucet of Beausoleil, the band that you hear out of Louisiana. He came on and presented a little concert the other night, special guest. And then after dinner, there's always a, a concert featuring members of the, of the staff. So everyone gets to hear all the different styles again. And then um, there is a contra dance at the same time, or old fashioned country dancing. She, she didn't want to dance at all. 
And I finally got up to try this country dance or country square dance. She wore me out. I was just sweating, I could barely move. And from not even wanting to get up and dance, <laughs> she's dragging on me. She went and found another partner and wore them out. Well, um, we went swimming a few times and we played a lot of music and um, they have great food. They make everything. Cheesecake, blueberry pie, and gingerbread. They make yogurt for 300 bucks. people every day, or however many are here. The cinnamon butters. We make almost a, everything is yeah everything is from scratch. We source as much food locally as we can get, and we have a group of amazing volunteers who. Another thing that's remarkable about Fiddle Camp is how willing everybody is to pull their weight and make the community work well. Nobody is assigned chores and everything gets taken care of. That's pretty magical. At this camp, you rarely see a music stand or sheet music. And the focus on the learning is learning by ear in the moment. And the staff, all of us staff, are skilled at teaching that way. What happens when you learn a tune that way, and remember it <laughs> by practicing, it's yours. You now own it, and no one can take it away from you. Instead of saying, oh, I've got that in my collection somewhere. Let me go find the piece of paper with a tune on it. It's like, no, oh, I know that tune. It goes like this. And that's how we come together at all hours of the day and night, sit down and just start playing music. At Fiddle Camp, I think it's really, in many respects, the cutting edge of what's happening with music because this is where the kids are learning it so young that they have plenty of time to take it further, and they are. So Maine Fiddle Camp has become an incubator of musicians who are, who are taking this music to new levels. And as someone who's a senior citizen watching all of this, it's like there are moments when I feel, boy, I can retire now. Because <laughs> the music and the the dancing is completely in good hands.